Hello. How is everybody doing today? Happy hump day. How is everybody That's doing today? Okay. All right. So, um, getting to you later this afternoon, I'm so sorry, but um, things happen and pop up and go longer than they're supposed to and that's how it works but um, I feel like it always ends up working out just the way it's supposed to so um, I want to give a quick um, just heads up when I do these on Wednesdays it's never going to be at the same time and it's always usually going to be towards um, two uh, and three o'clock so just keep that in mind and if if I can't do it I'll I'll try to do my best to, to post um, on here when I will. All right, look at that, 22 people on right now. How cool, and the numbers change. Um, all right, Lori, Lucinda, Terry, Anna, so excited I'm finally able to watch live. Welcome to the family, Anna. Uh, Sarah, hi Sarah. Sarah's got a grandbaby coming soon. Lynn Belinda. So good to see all of you guys. Hi, Jessica. Okay, so um, I am doing kind of some different initials today, and because they're not super, um, because you don't see or hear of them a lot, I'm going to do two initials um, that you don't see a lot, and it's F and K. So you will get special cards today if your name starts with, ends with, um, Anything to do with the initials F and K. Maybe you're in between in a relationship with Frankie. I don't know. But um, if if you are um, watching this and you are getting ready to pick cards and you have an F or a K initial, I definitely feel like I have a special message for you today. Okay. So these, you actually get two if you're an F or a K, two cards. These are the F and K ones. So don't be picking one, two, or three, because these are supposed to be what you're supposed to get if you are an F or a K initial. And here we go. So card number one, I'm sure on the other side, it looks weird, it looks so backwards. Card number one, card number two, card number three. Make sure you put what card you're picking in the comments just to hold yourself accountable. A lot of times we'll, um, think we want card number one, but we'll end up putting card number two, and then, you know, you'll say, damn it, I should have went with what I first thought, that resonated with me more. Um, but there is a reason that you're putting down these, you know, numbers, and, and they're different than what you already said, because you're supposed to get that message, the message that uh, you pick and 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 put down, which whichever number it is, um, you're supposed to get that card, so make sure you're putting them in there. All right, one, card one, Card two, card three. I'll show them to you one more time all together. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Put them in there. Um, while you're doing that, just a couple quick reminders. Uh, we have the St. Louis show this uh, next weekend. So that's um, November 12th, we have that show. And um, seats are filling up for St. Louis. So if you are interested in coming to a St. Louis show, please, please, please make sure that you get in there and uh, get your tickets. Chillicothe, Chillicothe. Chillicothe is the 26th of this month. So if you're interested in uh, chili coffee, if you're in the Kansas City area, that's going to be as close as we're going to get this year. So um, yeah, last show there. And then um, don't forget that this Friday is my Black Friday special. So um, without a shadow of a doubt, if you are considering buying someone a private uh, reading a gift certificate for, or for Christmas, you definitely want to hop in on this. It's the cheapest I will have. Uh, I will have gift certificates for the entire year. It's called my, I call it my Black Friday. It's the Friday after Halloween. Um, half hour readings will be 
$50 off. So they're originally $150, they'll be $100. And one hour readings will be $100 off. So they're originally uh, $300, they'll be $200. So yeah, definitely want to get in there. Midnight on Friday, they will go, or on Thursday, they will go on sale. Okay, let's get to these cards. So if you are an F or a K, you got a couple special cards today. Um, the messenger of abundance, it, let me try that again, is your, is your main card. And it's um, basically wonderful news regarding your career. It's all about um, a promotion, leveling up, um, maybe even finally accepting that your career is going in the direction that you want it to go. Um, it's, it's, this card is amazing if you are in a position where you have a hard time being optimistic about your career. This card is supposed to lift you up. The weird thing though is I, I also pulled a, another card in addition to that and um, it's a year from now is what it says. So we get this card that's all about this amazing career opportunity and things are going to pick up for you. Um, and then in your mind, you're thinking, well, when the hell is this going to happen? Um, within the next year, because you got that card that that brought up the timing. And I'm just, it it's just always blows my mind how these kind of come together. And um, a lot of times people are asking, okay, well, when can I expect this to happen? I always say psychics don't tell time. We tell the end result. Uh, but in this position, in this situation, um, they, they brought in the time. So within a year from now, you should see things start to kind of skyrocket as far as your career goes. Um, you will finally be exactly where you want to be. So just relax and release your, um, your fear of accepting that because I have that same issue too. Um, so if I have it, I'm sure other people have it. They have a hard time accepting wonderful, great news. Okay. Card number one, are you ready? Seven of emotion. That's what card number one is. And this card is all about um, there being a very important decision that you're supposed to make and you are completely avoiding it. And the procrastination usually comes, again, with fear. I was just talking about this um, with a friend and a client. Fear is a secondary emotion, just like anger. So um, if, if we're not making the the decision because we're terrified of something or we're scared it won't go the right way, um, then we're actually kind of manifesting that to happen. So let go of all the fear, make the fucking decision, stop pushing, um, you know, pushing against yourself, work smarter, not harder, and uh, make that damn decision. If you are confused about how you should make this decision, uh, if you, because there, this card tells me you already know you already know what you're supposed to do. You already know the answer. You already know how you're supposed to proceed uh, in this situation. It's just you're refusing to do it because fear is blocking you. Um, but if, if you really don't feel 100% on, on which direction you should go with the decision, ask your angels. Ask your angels. Reach out to them and say, hey, I need your help. Angels cannot go against your free will. So you have these amazing beings that are here to help guide you, but unless you ask them, unless you ask uh, put your hand out, they're not going to help you. So you have to give them the uh, okay to do that. So ask. Okay, card number two. Uh, I love this card. This is one of my favorites. Um, this is release the fears that hold you back. I'm starting to see a theme here like every single time. Um, release the fears that are holding you back. There's a lot of events going on in your life right now and for some reason you're um, holding yourself hostage based on fear of what may or may not happen in a certain situation. This card also goes to tell you, and it's the moon by the way, I love it, um, the moon is the psychic card. It's um, the light in the pitch black darkness of our world and um, the, the moon is known to illuminate the situation, the things that we're running away from. It comes over in this dark situation that we're in and it brightens it up. And so um, you're being told to release your fears and start to rely more on your intuition because the moon is the psychic card. 
So if you got that card, also, I have a psychic class coming up. I only teach them every once every six months, so twice a year. Um, so if you got this card and you feel that you have an innate sense of intuition, this is definitely the universe's way and your guide's way of saying, hey, um, consider doing something with that intuition that you have, okay? So, and maybe what's holding you back, you know, the, the fear that's holding you back, the situation that's holding you back from is using your intuition. But use that damn intuition. It was a God-given ability that was, that was given to you. And if you want to take a second class, 1210, I'll be doing one uh, in Hannibal, Missouri. I think I have three spots left. No, I have one spot left. <laughs> I have one spot left for that second class. I can only fit so many people in there. So if you're interested in doing it, um, definitely snag your ticket on Eventbrite. Okay, card number three is all about, it's the Queen of Spring from the Fairy Deck, and this card is all about believing in yourself. Um, the other thing, finding balance. Sometimes you may uh, be struggling and you don't know why you're struggling. struggling. It almost feels like I am out of sync and I don't know why, and one of the reasons that you're out of sync is because you're out of balance. So make a list of everything that you give your time to and see if, if you're giving more time to one thing. And, and I'm not talking about just physical things like your kids and work and their school. I'm talking about emotional things too. Um, if you're giving your, your energy to an emotional situation that isn't serving you, then um, you're wasting your time. And that's probably what's throwing things out of balance, i.e. Uh, a relationship where you're not put as number one or, um, you know, stressing about work when there's really nothing you can do about it because it's not up to you anyways. Those types of situations are, are also things that um, can really mess with the balance of our lives and throw things off. So, um, yeah, just, just focus more on getting yourself balanced. One of the best ways to do, do that is to make a list of everything that uh, you feel like you're giving your energy to, both physical, mental, emotional, all of it, fears, um, and see how much of your headspace is being taken up by stuff uh, that's starting to uh, in interfere with the balance that you have in life. Okay, I am going to hop off of here and go get my kids. I have like four minutes to spare. I love every one of you so much. Uh, Halloween was fucking awesome. We, we sold out... Um, we sold more tickets than we ever thought we would, and um, you, the Halloween shows are always my favorite, so I loved every minute of it. Your costumes were awesome. I just, I can't tell you how much I appreciate you, and I love you, your gratitude, your loyalty, your kindness. I just, I want you to know that I love you so much. And I made today's um, tagline, the title, Give yourself some fucking credit. Give yourself more credit because I feel like that is a message that um, every one of you that's on here right now needed to hear. I didn't think that you could get that from just a card. So I wanted to make sure that every one of you knew that uh, your guides um, want you to give yourself more credit. You deserve it. Give yourself more credit. And I love you so freaking much. All right. I'm out. Peace.